everybody. So in here, I'm going to give these a try, some molds that I bought from Michaels. They're um, made mainly, I think, for maybe chocolate. Um, I got them in the, like, the baking section. So if you can see, this is an elephant, and it kind of comes in pieces where it should kind of come together like a little, little statue. They're supposed to all put together. Then I also got this uh, little dinosaur. So anyway, I thought it would be fun to try doing this with you guys. They weren't very expensive. And the molds are shiny, like I always look for. Some things I suppose would be good to have um, kind of a flat. If you were doing maybe a tree or something, I don't know, maybe you'd want a flat um, mold base and not something shiny. But I've mixed up some resin and I am going to um, do, let's see, I'm going to use these little cups today and because I'm going to make colors. Pour this in here. I'm hoping these will be just kind of a quick and easy and fun project. Let me see here. I do have some this black velvet uh, waterproof India ink I'm going to take just the teeniest amount of that and again um, my resin that I've mixed up is Diamond Fusion Naked Clarity that I buy on Amazon real pretty silver. I thought I was recording and I'm not sure where I lost you but I've got the silver done for the elephant and sorry about that I'm not sure why that stopped and I am getting ready to find what I want for a green for my dinosaur. That's a bronze gold I don't want that so these are the two I have, a bluish green and a grass green. I think I'm going to go with the grass green. Let's see what we can do here with this. I'd like for him to be kind of a nice pretty green and I don't want him to be translucent. So get this mixed up. Got my cup pretty full. I didn't quite have enough for this little elephant. Enough to cover everything, but not to make it all the way as deep as I'd like. Oh, that's a, he's going to be a bright green, kind of a bright green dinosaur. A tiny, tiny, also a tiny blob of black, just the tiniest bit. Literally one drop. I don't know if you could see that, but I just added one drop of my Black Velvet India ink. Let's see. Kind of darken that up a little. It's pretty. I think the color's really pretty. What do you think? Again, it's got kind of a chrome look to it. Let's start with his body. Slow. Make sure all those little nooks and crannies are in there. This resin's starting to get kind of hot. So it tells me I probably don't have too long to work with it. I'm moving myself a little quicker here. Too much thinking and not enough doing, I guess, huh? 
little hands. I think this could turn out just really cute. legs. check this resin that and that little cup was getting mighty hot oh, this is starting to get a little warm so at Michael's where they have these molds they had all kinds all different they had uh, gosh giraffes and all different kinds of little animals and it, they all looked so fun and I will probably go back and get some more if this turns out and you can use it with resin I'm not sure you know as long as the pieces all fit together but you know resin kind of dries a little I mean cures a little different sometimes it's sinking in the middle okay everyone here's our puzzle piece elephant and dinosaur and what I did is um, I put about halfway full or so with my colored uh, resin I used mica powder and a little bit of um, black velvet waterproof India ink for both of these colors and I will put which colors I use in the description. I'm not sure why my video keeps cutting out in the middle of um, while I'm talking about it and then all of a sudden I notice that it just has stopped so I apologize for that but um, I've chopped this all off with clear resin and now I'm gonna let it and I've run my heat gun over it I'm gonna let it cure overnight and then I will come back and we will um, demold these together and see if they fit together like it says on the package. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone. I'll see you in the morning. Hi everyone. So we're back this morning to demold our puzzle pieces that we did from the molds that we bought at Michael's. And first of all, we're going to um, do the elephant. It did cure nice and smooth. And this one, we didn't have... Um, the gray color go all the way to the top so we filled it up with some clear and hopefully this will all be molded pretty easily lots of little cracks and cracks but huh, it's a pretty good elephant color huh kind of a silvery pretty okay let's see I'm really hopeful that these will come together I need the legs a bit more shallow than the body so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of room for the legs to go in. Um, we'll see how that works. It molds pretty easily. There are some little, you know, little areas here that I'm gonna have to pop out of there, but got it out out in one piece. Okay. Okay. So here's our elephant, and can you see his? Turn my light up here a little bit. Can you see how he's got? Um, like the his facial features and then his mouth. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier and I probably could have taken some mica powder and done some little black or darker gray on those areas uh, but I thought right now I just want to try and see if this even works um, or not but ooh, the color is actually really pretty. Okay so let's see we have A and B and C. Let's see so he has Here's his front legs. Here's his back legs. Oh my goodness, this goes together just really easy. Really super easy. Let's see. And his ears. And his ears would go this way. Oh, gosh, that was just so quick and simple. Can you see? Can you see how he came together? It's really easy and quick and how fun. This actually would be a cute little... Um, 
a cute little craft for one of your kids or grandkids or whatever. But yeah, super cute, really easy and went together much easier even than what I thought. He's got some personality there. Let's do the uh, little dinosaur. to do so this makes me wonder if I probably want to go back to Michael's or get online and order some more of them. I looked last night and they have um, cats and they have a cat, they have a dog, they have the giraffe, oops I think his back legs maybe go there, uh, they have a bear, they have all different sorts of those that that probably goes in the front, right? So we'll put this one here and we'll put this one here. Wow, I'll be darn. That's just the cutest thing. That is the cutest thing ever. I don't know if you can see it very well sideways here. Can you see it? Turned out really cute. Really cute. Really easy for the kids to put together, especially um, I didn't fill these up all the way with resin so that I could make sure I could get the legs in there. They went in super easy. Um, I could have put them in maybe, I could have done a little bit more. And actually they stand up pretty stable. I just um, kind of knocked them over by moving some of that stuff around. But yeah, there they are. The elephant. The elephant. Cute. And dinosaur. All right. Well, that's all for these guys. Thank you, but I'm looking forward to making more. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you next time.